our take on a gong system. So most gong systems have pipe legs, a pipe that goes across, and then chain, right? If you shoot the pipe or the chain, the whole thing kind of collapses. So what we did is we built it with this gate system. We open that up right there, and those just tip out. So this is all AR-500 still, as well as the plate, so there's no chain to shoot apart. You can hang it in there just like that. You can put one, two, or three gongs in there. Close that gate right there, and that keeps them from falling out, or falling out of there. This piece right here is just an extension of that piece. This piece and that piece are the exact same, but I have guys who want to make it longer. So we made that piece. What you can do is you can take a bolt and bolt it through that square hole to those square holes, and I can move both those sections together and then move the legs out to the end. Or if you want, you can actually just swing it like that and just have it extend out to the edge like that. I can put additional uh, swinging gongs on that one, or the critters on that one, or the holes also work to hold clay pigeons. These are just AR-500, they're like a clay pigeon, uh, but they don't shoot apart obviously like the way the clay pigeon, right? When you shoot them, they just fling off there and swing back. This right here is an extension. I had guys who wanted to be taller, so we made that extension leg right there. So you just put the two together to raise the whole system up that time. Yeah, you can still break it all down. It all fits in those that carry bag right there. So when you go to the range, you just take your one carry bag, and it's just all there. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Have you seen those? That's that self-healing rubber. So you shoot it. That's nine millimeter. Passes all the way through it. But it and then it closes up? Closes up. That's 22 right there. Yeah. So like if you were shooting a 22 on a paper target or even a nine millimeter, that whole area would be gone now, right? You right, wouldn't know right. it. Yeah, With this one, when you shoot them, they move like that. Right, I got it. So you get the motion, you get the durability. So reactionary and self-healing. Reactionary, self-healing, waterproof, somewhat windproof. You're not fighting with the blowing down in the wind. Yeah, and this is, a, this is a neat little those, system. Uh, yeah, that just makes it so you can add length yeah. to it. Well, so it just hooks around the bar like that, and you can add multiples of these together. Oh, and have strings. So if I wanted or, to hang down lower, uh, yeah. I just add those to them. And then obviously it just, you put it together by just pinching those, put it through the hole like that, and then you can just thread them on the pipe or on whatever system you have. Yeah. What we try to do is build something that all fits in the same carry case. So you can take that off like that, then these come out of there, the couplings, the extension of that. So it has different holes on the stand for different types of items. For example, half inch for the pipes like we just saw there, one by twos for like wooden Home Depot stakes or, or wood you get from Home Depot or any box store for your paper targets. 18 inch centers right there for IDPA and Ipsic size cardboards. Nice. 22 inch centers there for your NRAs, your law enforcement, your B27s, your large page per target. So you have two different locations and then three different locations for two by fours. Uh, so the system goes together quite easily. Um, what we try to do is make a uh, portable target system that goes together without any bolts, tools, no welds or anything in the system. So it's kind of a tongue and groove type system. The system cams together and that's what locks the whole system together. To get it apart, you just have to pull up on one side like that right there and it comes out of that tongue and groove. And then you just take it apart like that. This, one is. this is, doesn't matter right or left on that, it goes together the same way. This larger piece goes on the bottom, like that. Spread the tops apart. Place that one in there. And then this just pushes over and down. The pushing down is what causes the whole system to kind of flex together. Once it's done, the whole system holds together. So 22 pounds, heavy enough that it's not going to blow over in the wind, yet light enough I can move it around to wherever I want. And you ship these anywhere? Anywhere, yep, absolutely. Shippable. Let me show you this. Holes. So that's your typical IDPA or Ipsic size cardboard. 18 inch centers on that. One by two furring strip from Home Depot or Lowe's. Those just fit right there in those sockets. And then all the way down through to the ground. And that's what makes it so sturdy. This stability on there. Or you could go two by fours. Or two by fours, exactly. So that's a two by four. The hole in the front right there gives you the ability to put a two by four in front of the paper, which is kind of nice for like sighting in your rifle or if you're teaching a class where there's bad guys with good guys in the background. It gives you two different targets there. And these are more your plates right yeah, here? Yeah, these are our plates. Our plate system is kind of unique to us too in the fact that it's a, a no tool design. What I mean by that 
It's a simple cap that goes on top of a two by four. Then it's a stem with a 90 degree bend in the back like that that goes in between the wood and the cap. And then the still is a bolt through design. Has a simple bracket on the back with some spacers and some nuts, all grade eight hardware. And what you do is you just place it on top of the stem like that, press it down, and that locks it on. Sweet. That holds it at about a 22 degree downward angle, which means less heat and energy on the still because the bullet's not striking at a 90. More importantly, it takes the fragmentation and sends it down away all from the shooter. All the goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same stand awesome. will let you run multiples. If I have multiple shooters, I can stagger it. I can put a cardboard there cardboard here or a cardboard right to the there. side right there okay. as well as you can put multiple two by fours on one stand like I have here so I can put one two or three I can put different sizes or different heights different locations of the still targets depending on your needs you want them six feet tall put them up at six feet tall you want them two feet tall you cut the, the cardboard to two feet tall so this system right here there's a cap on here we call it a flat cap. It's this cap here. So it goes on the top, the stem goes in there, still hangs on the front. We make another cap, a rack cap. Does the same thing as a flat cap, but that handle on the back, that allows us to put a horizontal two by four between two of those caps. Very nice. The horizontal two by four then gives us a larger elevated platform to hang paper targets, additional still targets, any height you want, any width you want. This I have at about four feet for just demonstration purpose. Then on the end of that, we have what's called a slider. It's open on the ends, looks very similar to the other caps, but it allows us to run stuff horizontally on this two by four. So I can put, then I can put the stem in like that. And then that still, same as the others, hangs on the front like that. So I can basically make a plate rack or multiple pieces of steel on one stand. Usually a plate rack you have to have a stand over here and a stand over there. This all will run off of one stand right there. Okay. Several different sizes of targets, everything from 6 inch plates, 8 inch plates, 10 inch plates, etc. <clears throat> this system right here makes it easy to do like a hostage taker headshot. If I want, I can take this off, turn it around. That shortens the distance, place that back in, and then I can put this guy in behind the shoulder of that guy there. Just practice on that. Put him anywhere you want in that situation. This target right here is our silhouette. We call it the reactionary silhouette. It's unique for us also in the fact that it has a uh, secondary plate behind it. What that plate does, let me put that stem back there, is that plate allows motion like that there. So when it's hanging on the system, it gives you a reactionary plate, secondary strike plate, basically. So this is a heavy duty um, industrial type belting that we use as the hinge. All grade eight hardware, top and bottom, front and back. All 3 8 inch AR500 handgun and rifle rated plate. We only sell AR500 3 8 inch plate because we know that it's gonna be handgun and rifle rated. Five inch window on the front, when it strikes, you get that secondary clang. The angle of the plate is kind of crucial for us. Um, we feel that it's a safety issue. We want the uh, the fragmentation of the bullet to be going down away from the shooter. Um, it does chew up on the two by fours because of the angle of the plates on the two by four. So you will get, you know, over time, damage on the plates right there from the fall. We do make a bracket for that. Right. What we do is you can just bolt that anywhere you want on that two by four. And protect that two by four. Protect that two by four. Sweet. Yeah. So if you want it low cool. down here, you can put it down there for low hits, fragmentation. If you have a short plate like that, you can put it up higher. The like whole that. system's nice in the fact that it all breaks down flat and it all goes in its own carry case. Um, everything pulls apart super easy, obviously, like that there. Kind of hard to see on that carpet, but you get the idea target there, the two caps, is, yes, I just do it like this, like that, two by fours out, and then just break the stand down. So once again, just leverage up on that, pull that apart. Hey, I'm all for the parts, but I It's about 56 pounds, yeah, okay. so the whole kit looks like that. It has the stand, the steel goes in there, the cap's in there, um, the front pockets will hold, you know, plates, 
the cap system oh, caps, okay. in there, yeah. And then once it's all loaded up, the whole system weighs 56 pounds. Uh, Sittac.com, so it's www.sittac, C-I-T-T-A-C.com. And you're out of? Utah. All of our product, including the bag, is all U.S. made, all made in Utah. And you ship, so Everywhere. if someone goes to your website? Yep, yep, yep. Every day we ship out product to everywhere in the United States. Sweet, thank you. Thank you, brother.